enjoying your ultimate luxury vacation found within the trend leisure. I first started out by applying mix on my natural nails in order to protect them as well as making it easier for me to paint them on both sides. I sculpted all the nails to have facets like crystals. For the yard nail, I chose an edge style shape and made a facet on top. I used my latest tool, an airbrush. It's actually only my second time using it. The reason why I chose this is to ensure a thin even coverage in order for the facets to stand out. I used masking tape and created an ombre to look like crystal and water at the same time. To create the sand on the trim of my crystal pier, I mixed white sand gel with a nude gel to create an ultra light shade. I feel as light as sand, as more nice it is. To make it look like stones at the pier, I applied tons of Swarovski crystals in the colors Majestic Blue, Crystal Summer Blue, Crystal Ivory Cream, Crystal Iridescent Dove, Crystal Bronze Pearl and White Opal. I also applied Crystal Pixie as the waves hitting the rocks. I sculpted the top of the yard in acrylic and painted it with shellac. I just had to do so, as there is another kind of shellac that had been used for sailing ships. The shade cream puff is very covering, so I only gave it one layer as it was already white, and a thin layer of top coat in order to keep the shape. Using clear gel, I applied Swarovski in the shape trapets to give the modern feel of the yard. I then used the Tiny Treasures nail piercing kit to create fenders on the yard. You are on board at world's most expensive yard, which features windows made of Swarovski, Swarovski fenders, and even a Swarovski anchor. Pull anchor at your next destination, Crystal Pierre, the exclusive and private vacation spot for only the very wealthy and super elite. At Crystal Pierre, the water shines like crystals and the Pierre is made of Swarovski entirely. I hand painted more windows and named my yacht in TNA. Thank you for watching my video. I had so much fun creating this look. I hope you felt the same watching this. Give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you next year. Bye! Farewell!